Hi, I'm Ed Schlafer, and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about my journey with uh, pulmonary fibrosis. I guess it started uh, about three years ago. I've, I was always fairly active. Three miles in less than an hour was nothing to worry about. But then one day we're out walking, and I had a sudden attack of shortness of breath. It, it, it really scared me. Um, so when I, a few weeks later, I had a meeting with my primary care physician, David Finney, and talked to David about what was going on, and he ordered a CT scan and a chest X-ray. He recommended they would see a uh, pulmonologist and refer me to Dr. Abhijit Ravel in Anderson. Uh, very shortly, I got into his office, and we did an extensive history of about what exposures I might have had, either whether it was civilian or military, um, any reactions and did a bronchoscopy and some more sophisticated tests and came up with, I've got idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Several takeaways. Number one, know your body. The fact that I was slowing down a little bit in my walking, I attributed the fact that I'm, heck, I'll be 80 years old shortly. But then when I got the sudden attack of the shortness of breath, that was a real red flag. Uh, the second takeaway is, Get to know and work with your physicians, your primary care, health care delivers, whether it's your primary care physician or the referring pulmonologist or the uh, medication specialist from the pharmaceutical industry. Communicate, keep the doors open and share with them what you're feeling and then work with them to, to address those issues. So be aware, communicate, stay open, and, and that's the takeaway that I've gotten out of my situation. I'm Dr. Abhijit Ravel with uh, NMED Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine. Uh, as you already heard from Mr. Schaefer, I would like to attest to the fact uh, about his journey with this disease, uh, pulmonary fibrosis. Um, I would like to alert that uh, people that comes into our clinic that have unexplained shortness of breath that is going on for a long time or unexplained cough, uh, it could be a variety of different things. It could be chronic bronchitis, could be COPD, could be asthma, could be sinus issues, could be acid reflux, but we do not ignore those symptoms when they are persistent. It is important to look further with an appropriate diagnostic studies like a lung function study or a high resolution CT scan to get to a timely diagnosis of a rare but not extremely rare disease like pulmonary fibrosis which has a tendency to progress and uh, could potentially also causes uh, repetitive flare-ups and hospitalizations as well. Uh, so my message uh, to the community is, uh, you know, do not ignore if someone has an unexplained shortness of breath or unexplained cough. I think it needs to be alerted by uh, your medical provider where it could be potentially properly timely investigated. Uh, and an appropriate timely diagnosis is critically important to provide a timely treatment, which could be medications, uh, it could be oxygen therapy, it could be uh, nebulizers, it could be bronchodilators, uh, it could be exercise therapy, or even evaluation for research and tertiary care center evaluation. But all that can happen if we make a timely diagnosis of this rare but potentially progressive disease.